Hi everyone, this is Dr. Stefan. I received an interesting question about tuberculosis and I think so, it's something that confuses many patients and not only. I think many health professionals actually are confused about this if they don't work in this field of respiratory disease and tuberculosis, infectious diseases, etc. So the question goes like this. Does active TB always firstly need to begin in the lungs? Could someone still have TB infection, example in the lymph nodes, without lungs being affected? And it's a very, very important question because it has a lot of nuances. So first of all, I'd like to just mention that we do not get tuberculosis uh, unless we inhale it. I think this is one simplification I can already make for you. However, tuberculosis is one of these strange infections that in most cases doesn't um, lead to an overt disease immediately. So what happens is we generally inhale the bacilli that cause tuberculosis, they lie dormant in our lungs, and then eventually they activate, basically when the immune system doesn't keep them in check very well, they start to multiply and they cause overt tuberculosis. Now, because we've inhaled the bacilli, they can be dormant in our lungs, but they can potentially migrate to lymph nodes, like it was very well mentioned in this, uh, in this comment. And then eventually, when our immune system loses control of this disease, let's say, we may get only infection in the lymph nodes, but the lungs may be completely clear because the level of bacilli in the lungs is very, very low. So the disease may actually be located in the lymph nodes. And this can actually happen in other parts of the body as well, not only the lymph nodes. So sometimes people can get joint tuberculosis. So for example, your knee may be affected by tuberculosis, but the initial uh, infection was caused by inhaling the bacillus from somewhere else. And it migrated through your bloodstream and ended up in your joint. In the same way, it can end up in the brain, it can end up in the pleura, around the heart, in many other organs of the body. There's basically not a single organ of the body that cannot be affected by tuberculosis, but the initial infection always happens by inhaling these bacteria. So hopefully that was helpful to clarify a little bit about how uh, tuberculosis works and why sometimes People may have completely clear lungs, of, free of tuberculosis infection, but tuberculosis may pop up in another organ. But this usually happens late after the initial infection. It could be years after uh, if the immune system suddenly becomes a little bit weakened and can no longer control the dormant bacilli. Hopefully this was helpful. I wish you all the best and good health. If you have further questions, do leave them in the comment section below and I'll aim to clarify things a little bit further in future videos. All the best.